Good morning, everybody. Doing another sanctuary vlog. Coming out to feed the pigs and the goats right now. So when I do these vlogs, I always do them kind of in, uh, you know, order of my day as it goes on. So we always start with these guys. But I noticed that a lot of people, uh, according to the analytics online, it says that a lot of people don't make it past, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So I was going to say, for those people, you should skip ahead because you're missing out on some of the animals I do towards the end. If you're like, oh, I see the pigs every day. I'm tired of them. Which if you say that, you're crazy because Julie, come on. But either way, I'm just saying you could skip around in the video so you get to see everybody. Julie! Hi, Julie! Hi, baby! Oh, this big pig. Petunia! What are you doing, Petunia? Come here at that mohawk. Come here at that mohawk. Look at this thing. Hi, Julie! Hi, Julie! Hi, big girl. Petunia's a low rider. Daisy! You grubbing? What are you doing, Daisy? What's doing it? Oh, Petunia. Oh, you're warm. Oh, you're warm. You must have been just sitting in the hay. So, it is a cooler day today. It got it down about 43 last night. So, although right now it's in the 50s, it's not bad at all right now. Petunia! Petunia! Hi, Daisy. All the baby piggies getting their breakfast. Remember guys, they are up for adoption through Eastern Snouts. That's who we were fostering them for. So if you want to adopt one of these guys, you can. And uh, they can ship to any state, I think. So you don't have to be Florida based. So if you want one, please take them so I don't have them. Good morning, Jet. Oh, he's peeing. Jet, are you peeing? Yeah. <laughs> and who peed? Hi, Jet. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jet. Oh, good morning. Oh, come here. Oh, you want pets? Oh, you want pets? Oh, he wants pets. Hi, baby. Oh, look at him. I want those belly rubs. Oh, it's the emu. It's okay. It's the baby emu. No reason to be scared. You don't need to be scared. So now we're just coming over to collect all the bulls. So we're gonna get the fox bulls now. Hi guys. Hazel wants to eat the baby emu. Good morning, Jelly Bean. Hi. I've come for your your bowl. We'll put some fresh blueberries for you. All right, so feeding the cavies. Oh, still in the bowl. So I have them tarped up too, just for the cold. Even though I think they wouldn't be able to handle it, but you know, just make them a little bit more comfortable and happy. You gonna eat some greens? Or you just want the pellets? Yep. I'm trying to give you guys some fresh food. They just want the pellets. Alright, so feeding the foxes now. 
go you way. Eat your food. No. Ah. Eating some egg. Okay, Hazel. There you go. You're so feral. Now we're gonna feed the kawadis. Hi guys. Hi guys. Are you hungry? You ready for food? Yeah. So the kawadis are eating their lockouts. So I brought the baby emu in here so that he can walk around and so that he puts his scent everywhere he goes too because the kawadis are very, very scent oriented. Here comes Clover too. Um, so maybe they'll find it interesting. So, you know, when I let them out, I'm gonna watch and see if they try to follow where the baby emu went. Might be kind of cute, you know, if they even care at all, or if they can even tell, but I thought it might be kind of cool for them. Hi, Jelly Bean. Got blueberries for you. We got blueberries, cantaloupe, apple, grape, and his pellets. But he just loves the blueberries. There you go. You happy to can? No. I'm sorry the aviary is tarped again. I don't, know, I don't think you guys like it, but got to. It's getting a little chilly. Gotta protect you guys. Look at that tongue move. It's so cool. Petrie! You want food too, Petrie? Yeah. Hi, Olaf. Hi, big guy. So Olaf took his meds this morning like a champ. Forgot to film it, but he did very good. Hi, big guy. Hi, big guy. Chloe! Hi, Chloe! Hi, Chloe, Chloe. Oh, you strutting. You strutting. Yeah. Look at this good girl, Chloe. Oh, look at this good girl. Chloe, here, come here, can you step up, are you excited, you want to dance, 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 yeah, 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 oh, there we go, Chloe, go girl, Chloe, all right, now step up, no, you're not going to step up, you're going to strut, Chloe, come here, there we go, oh, there we go, taxi ride, Straight to the food bowl. There we go. Go, girl, crow. Oh, there you go, Poppy. You got monkey biscuit, Poppy. You love monkey biscuits. Even Big Harv came out. Oh, Big Harv. Look at Big Harv's big butt. Here. There you go. Are you watching Baby Emu? Look at this. Everybody's so excited about the monkey biscuit. No one's even climbing me. I guess I need to do this every day so that you guys stop trying to climb me.
and even pet Harv right now. So now we're in the small parrot aviary feeding everybody fresh food and water. It's a very angry nesting budgie. If you lay another egg, I'm gonna have to take it. We're we'll stopped doing that. Got these two on me, as usual. There's candy. Hi, Candy. And there's Tango. Hi. Where are you? Candy loves head scratches. Tango won't let me, though. Nope. How you doing, Jumanji? Oh, big guy. Trying to see if you can eat my phone. Or my finger holding the phone. All right, so now we are taking the golf cart with a bunch of mulch and I'm gonna put some new mulch in for the uh, coatis and foxes. All right, so looks a little bit better in here, but I ended up using all the mulch. Um, I had wanted to put some in for the foxes, but as you can see, this didn't even cover everything I wanted to get done. We still got some empty spots around here, so I'm gonna need a whole another truckload of mulch. Um, I've been trying to look and be able to get it in bulk, but I haven't had any luck at it yet, but it's good enough right there. We'll go ahead and let the, well, we're gonna get the emu out, get the empty bags out, and then let the quaddies out. Oh, sleepy baby. Look at his feathers though. It's almost like, it's like fur, but obviously they're feathers, but it's so thick and so dense. And so this creates a really great thermal barrier for him or it, we don't know if there's a boy or girl yet, but either way, um, creates a really great thermal barrier. And so emu emus can handle snow. They can handle the desert. Like they can handle a crazy amount of temperature gradient and uh, still keep on kicking. Ooh, see that nictitinian membrane goes sideways across. That was really cool. Yeah. So I just released all the coatis out the lockouts and they don't even seem to care that much. I thought they'd be all over the new mulch and the emu smell and Meh, they're barely even noticing. They want to eat the emu when he's walking around, but otherwise they don't seem like they really care. The emu loves Clover, and Clover loves everybody, but she definitely gets pretty annoyed because the emu is just constantly up her butt. So she's sitting up in the golf cart, which is something she never really does. <laughs> she's doing it to avoid the emu. Oh, ho, ho, this wee baby. Are you avoiding the emu? 
Does he keep trying to eat your whiskers? Yeah. So we're doing another little uh, perimeter fence walk. Have a look around, check everything. Get some exercise for these guys. So here's the old abandoned house on my property which uh, if you guys haven't heard me talk about it before, I really want to try to like clean this area up because it's got these big, beautiful oak trees. It's in such a good spot out here. Um, it's just a little far. It's, uh, you know, towards like kind of the back half. So I'd have to run some serious uh, electric and water out here. But ideally what I would love to do is just try to like knock out most of this building but you see how the roof has got like a bunch of ferns. It's kind of hard to tell, but there you can see them up there. So the roof has got a bunch of cool ferns and this is just like a really old abandoned like Florida house. Clover, get out And she wants to go get the rats in there. <laughs> but it would just be so cool to knock out the majority of this like garbage stuff and just leave the roof and the frame and then put like an alligator pond like right here and uh, have this be part of it as because like for me growing up in Florida exploring old abandoned places like this and, and looking for snakes and and different animals I mean that's what I grew up doing it was so much fun and like creeping around in these old abandoned houses and stuff and looking for snakes so that's what I want to do is try to keep some of this here and then have an alligator enclosure right here with these big giant beautiful oaks and then have uh, you know this in the background as well I think it'd be really really cool to do I hope you guys don't mind, this has become the emo channel. Because I just cannot get over this guy. He's so stinking cute. I love the way this oak looks. It looks different. Just like the way the branches go out. You have a different looking one. So I had to climb up and Clover gets so excited. What? You want to climb the tree? Do you want to climb the tree? Yeah. I know. You want to climb the tree. But you can't. Look a girl. And that good emu. Oh yes. Not baby dinosaur. <laughs> what was Dutch doing, huh? <laughs> what are those ducks doing? All right, now we're doing the night checks, so. Walking around, checking everybody out. There goes Jet. There's Asami. Hi, Asami. Gotta feed you guys. All right, so we'll feed Jet first. Hi, Jet. Oh, there you go, big guy. Get some rabbit, yeah. There you go.
this chunk skunk. Oh, this cool girl. Look at all that food. Look at all that food. Yeah, cantaloupe and carrot and pepper and uh, one of those freeze dried duck patties. Oh, and for the pepper, as usual. So check the kawadis now. What are you guys doing? I see somebody's up there. Whoop. Lily's barking at me. Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up? <laughs> and foxes. I see Hazel's eyes over there, and there are the other two. Everybody's good there. Check on Jumanji. Oh, it's nice and warm in there. Yeah, he's in there. Come on, let's go check the birds. All the budgies are underneath the heat lamps, nice and warm. Both the aviaries just like Creepy murder shacks in the woods with red lights. Can you imagine, like, you don't know what this is, and you're lost in the woods, and somehow got through my perimeter fence, and then you saw this, and you're like, dude, what is that? Now we're bringing Olaf inside, since it's getting chilly. I'm gonna bring him inside, since he's sensitive, and give him his meds. And on that note, we'll go ahead and wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Good night.